Personal Independence Payment, or PIP, is one of the main disability benefits paid to people to help with extra living costs in England, Wales and Northern Ireland. In Scotland, a similar benefit called Adult Disability Payment is available. If you are looking after someone with a long-term health condition, disability or illness, and they are aged between 16 and state pension age, they may be entitled to claim. The person you care for might qualify for PIP if they have limited mobility and struggle to get around outdoors on a daily basis. Or, they may fit the criteria if they have difficulty carrying out day-to-day -day living tasks like washing, eating or getting dressed. The decision is not based on someone's income or savings, but on the level of support they need over the long term. There are different weekly rates depending on the level of support someone requires. There is a standard rate and an enhanced rate for different daily living and mobility needs. See the Carers UK website for more details and the current rates. To see if you can make a claim on someone's behalf, take a look online and check if they meet the conditions needed. You could also request a benefits check from a Carers UK advisor. If you decide to apply, try to provide as much information as possible. You may worry that if you make a claim for PIP for someone you care for, their other benefits will go down. But claiming PIP will not negatively affect any other benefits they're receiving. It will also have no negative impact on any benefits you're receiving, but may in fact help you when it comes to applying for other benefits. If the person you care for has a terminal illness, there are special rules that apply that can mean that their application is fast-tracked and might even be paid at the highest rate. If you need some help with this, you can always contact a Carers UK advisor for support. If someone's circumstances change while claiming PIP, for example if they go into hospital or residential care, you'll need to remember to report these changes to the relevant benefits officers. If you'd like to find out more, there's lots more information and guidance on our website, carersuk.org. Or you can email advice at carersuk.org. Whatever you're going through, we're always here to help.